My guests on this program are Judge Jerome Marks. Judge Marks is a retired New York State Supreme Court Justice. And of course, our other guest is Ms. Angela Thompson, who served eight years in prison. She was granted clemency on December the 24th, 1997. There are rare exceptions where a sentence might be unconstitutional, a violation of the state and the federal constitution uh, because of the, uh, the sentencing, the strict sentencing, the severe sentencing. And she found this to be a rare exception considering the fact that the youngster, she was only 17 years of age, never been in trouble in her life. Now this is a little girl, she didn't even get around, get, she wasn't around with a bad crowd. She held about three or four jobs while she was going to high school and graduated from high school. For Angela Thompson, a black teenager living with her uncle, the words blind justice took on a different yet cruel meaning one day in October in 1988 when police arrested Thompson and her uncle in Harlem for selling drugs. What was to follow was a complicated set of circumstances that put Angela between a rock and the criminal justice system. Angela was charged with selling a little over two ounces of cocaine to an undercover police officer. News stories profiled her as an innocent victim of her dope peddling uncle, but that turned out to be the least of her problems. Because of the amount of drugs involved, Angela fell victim to the unusually harsh Rockefeller laws, legislation enacted in 1973 as a deterrent to drug trafficking. Under the statute, any drug sale of over two ounces constitutes an A1 felony and a mandatory 15 years to life sentence. Angela was sentenced and sent to jail. Over the next few years, community and law officials, politicians, the media, including this TV program and WLIB radio in New York, have spoken out in favor of the black teenager, citing her case as an example of an excessively punitive criminal justice system, a system that placed Angela's crime in the same category as murder. Now, after eight years and two petitions to the New York State Governor, George Pataki, Angela is a free woman. She will join me in a moment to tell her story. I'm Tony Brown. In a moment, free at last.